Let's go welcome next episode of Star Citizen. We're last left off. We're searching the Star Fair. We're on the second floor. We had to find a way in that was not of means that you would expect. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Wait, I thought this is where the green... There it is. This is what we came for. All the credits in the world. Journal entry head. What does it say, boys? Give us the lore. P. Seraphan. The name of an angel? Hey, Mr. Devi. What? Mr. Devi. It's Patricia with my weekly check, and it's been a good week for Aviar and the Stanton system. I closed the contract I was telling you about last week. I had to cut them a deal. But like you say, once they experience Aviary's amazing service, we got them for good. That gives us three in the system. A few more clients like this will be turning a profit in no time. In other good news, I've been able to convince a local fuel concern, Frund Family Fuel, to meet with me about a possible buyout. They've been around for decades and have a number of primo contracts. I've drafted the offer so it allows them to operate under the aviary name as long as they maintain our standards. Considering the state of their ship and employee records, it shouldn't be hard to get rid of them following the first performance review. Savages. It's their contracts we really want, not their aging starfare. I'm trying to think what happened. We'll let you know when I'm closing in on a deal so you can give it the final approval. I know I've been only here a few months, but I see a lot of potential for Aviary in Stanton and have some big plans. Just give me time, and I'll give you this system. Patricia, who do you think you are? The Aviaries, they, they didn't deserve it. Let's see what else is going on here. The rest of the top floor. There's another one. this come on we, we need to see it don't get in our way c clark from christine to christine clark from adina freud christina i know it's you and have the dates to prove it bet you think it was so slick of you to sell info on our operations to avier of a Vivar. Sorry, what they call an aviary? A Vivar. Don't think I'm going to let you get away with it either. You best watch your back because one day you'll turn around and see me standing there. The Iron Price. Then you have to answer for what you did to me and my family. Consider this comma courtesy. Stop shelling out info. Info on us to a Vivar and get out of Stanton as fast as you can because if we ever, ever cross paths, it won't end well for you. Transcription end. Iron Price. I'm kind of I'm siding with the family on that one. What kind of scumbag does that? Maintenance access. Let's go over here. Maintenance access. Tear it. I guess we got to go maintenance, huh? the glass. Huh, that looks like it's shut down. Alright, let's go maintenance then. I can slide down here. We should be able to. This is like Kovalex sliding down. What the heck? What else could be happening on this place? Does that work? That does not. There's another star fair too. We're gonna check that thing out. Escape pods. Oh, we could have slid into the DMs right here too. Can we do a full sweep. Got the beeps. Got the sweeps. Got the creeps. There's the thermal reactor, boys. That's it. Aviva! There will be revenge. Let 
mission withdrawn. What the heck? That was another... Another deal that got blown open. I can't see anything. Flashlights on, boys. A deal that might have been helpful oh, a long time ago. Thank you for that. Alright, I think our work here in this star fair is done. Let's go check out the other one. Slide out of the DMs. I wonder if our wildfire is still there. Alright, so here... No, oh, it was a ghost trap. It was a ghost trap. No. No. One good ripskins deserves another, so we're going to take the golden WHP Avenger, which is uh, the Avenger Renegade. It's a variant on the... Avenger Titan, it just changes the color, makes it look a little more fresh, it, it sparkles gold if you if you hit it in the right light. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing back to the Star Fair, not the one we were in, but I think there was a second one. We're going to go ahead and give it the old college try. But look at this ship. Oh, I forgot to close the back door, sorry guys. But look at this, it's a butte, boys. Nice and easy. Alright, so let's rise up here. that golden glass <laughs> all right we're gonna go to the star fair here boys and finish up what we started here we came to get answers from Delilah and the Beauregard family that's stealing information and we will get answers let's see what the top end speed on this thing is top end so it starts at 165 Ooh, tops out at 825. I can get down with that. Is there anyone else around here? Yeah, there's the two star fairs. So we'll be in here kind of close. Let's just lower a little bit. I did want to get some external views here as we get close. Look at that chase camera. Squad up. I kind of want to go secondary views, but... I definitely don't want to crash here either. All right, where did the... Wait, where'd they go? Oh, we blew past them. Hang in here, boys. There's two of them. Now, <laughs> I'm hoping we can distinguish which one was the one we, we searched and which one was the one didn't search. Also, there was another hornet there, wasn't there, when we pulled up? Alright, nice and easy. Slow down. Alright, we gotta kill our throttle here. Landing throttle here kill, deployed. throttle kill. There we go. Okay, so which one do we think we went in? was our wildfire so I think that's the one that we were in and this is what's what's right there no 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 PRE mode please we're gonna land on the front end of this thing very carefully boys this is probably some good screenshot stuff here, boys. We're gonna get kind of close. Look at this. Respect the advocacy. <laughs> We're gonna land on top of this thing. That's the dream. Varlak. If I trust someone named Varlak. Carefully land it, boys. We're gonna go to third person to land this thing. This is it, boys. Don't get scared now. We should be able to land this thing. 
Don't want to, just don't want to hit that turret. Do a little side strafe. Dooleys. There she is, boys. Back up just a touch. Take her down. Take her down. We did it. We've done it. We've done it. <laughs> There's not many piloting moments that you can take to the bank, but that's one of them right there. Remember where you were when we landed on the moon. <laughs> Stay on there. It's still on. We've done it. It's been done. 10 out of 10 landing would land again. Look how excited. Literally sliding across the DMs. Literally. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business here. Let's finish what we came here for. That's the truth. That is the truth. Let's see if we can look through this window and know if it's the same one. We should probably be able to tell. This is not the same one. This is the new freshness. All right. Entering through the rear subjects. Let's go. Oh, the, this one has seen better days, I will say that. Weapon racks the size of bazookas. What does that say? Liquid water tank. Where's the flight manifest? Liquid should just go out pouring everywhere, boys. Liquid water. Where's the manifest? Huh. So you wonder if they place stuff in different locales. Check down here. Trust no one. Inspect everything. Okay, nothing's down here, boys. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I thought that was a person for a second. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that there's something that's gonna be in the, the pilot seat. That's my guess. What could it be? What? Get in here. The suspense. There she is, boys, a skeleton pilot. There it is. That's what we came for, the truth. Front, the family member. Fuel employee data pad. Adina, I'm done. Seriously, screw you guys. Three runs. I've done three runs for you and still haven't gotten paid. You aren't the only ones with debts to pay, and this may be your family business. Oh, this is to Adina from Christina. It sure is not mine. Maybe if you guys made sure your clients played on time, this wouldn't happen. More than once I've seen Jameis tell you to pay him when it's convenient. Guess I shouldn't be surprised this happened. Friend, family, fuel may be fine with a hard day's work and not getting paid, but the hell if I am. I'll be filing a breach of contract or lost wages complaints, and the hell they're getting called against both of you the second I'm off this tub. So now whose side are you on? I don't know. The plot just thickened. Froned or aviary? Let's see if they're going to let us in the top DMs here. 
I don't know. I mean, do do we believe her? I mean, I know she she may have not been paid timely, but is that an excuse to give away company secrets? No. Let us up here. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna have to hack our way in. That's all right. That noise was. Ooh, maybe it was that Avenger parking on top, boys. <laughs> All right, let's get the hopefully turret glitch here. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to find the truth. Spam F, spam F, F in chat. Not gonna let us in. There we go, boys. You gotta do dastardly things if you wanna uncover the truth. Does it work? It does not work. No guns, no glory. Alright, boys, here we go. Like someone's working a calculator. Captain's quarters, we want the truth. The truth you shall have. The lights come on. Chris Roberts enters. Jay Friend. Jameis Friend. Hey Adina. I know you're not probably talking to me. First, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the meeting with Avivar. I knew you'd be against talking to them, but I couldn't risk not happening. You have every right to be angry for me keeping it from you. But you know how you get sometimes. Honestly, I don't know how to handle when you get all worked up. Whoa. <laughs> You've been that way since we were kids. Remember the incident with Mom's Cutlass? Guess I wanted to avoid all that drama until everything was official. See, it's hard to tell you. FFF is running deep in the red and I don't see a way out. I did everything I could to find a way out, put the house up as collateral for a loan, but nothing worked, just dumb luck. Selling to a Vivar is our only way, is our only option to stay flying with some creds in our pocket and a shred of dignity. I know you'd argue with all your heart against it, but you don't know the numbers like I do. The system's a different place since Dad started all this. Dad never had to hire a full-time turret gunner for protection. The BHP would be there. Competition's grown so fierce that the low fuel prices can't cover your skyrocket, our skyrocketing costs. At least if we operate under Aviva's banner, we'll have some support during these tough times. The business may not be in our names, but it'll still be ours. I know you hate me right now, but remember that as your brother, I love you and only want to do what's best for all of us. Whenever you're ready to talk, I'll be here. Jay, the truth comes out. So she's salty because she mismanaged the family business. And now there's nothing left. But scraps. So they, I mean, so one would have to say the initial villain, maybe not be so villainous after all. I want to see if there's one more hidden donger in here that may shed a little more light on the situation. Isn't there one more room? So Viva's. Could go down. Let's go down one more floor, I think. Yeah. All right, here we go, boys. Wait, wait, wait. The truth. The truth almost passed us by. What does it say? S. Totman. Who the heck's S. Totman? Man, I got chewed out again today. I guess I didn't get to the turret fast enough. Adina kept yelling at me. We'd all be dead if the ship was really under attack. But it's not like I was dragging my heels. I'd just never been on a ship this size before. It's easy to get turned on around. Tell me about it. I almost feel like someone designed the ship for people to get lost on. Ty keeps telling me not to worry about it. He keeps telling me nobody's first run goes smoothly. He told me that you learn by living. This would all be super overwhelming if he wasn't here. Not to say it's not nice to talk to you about these things too who's he writing this to ben to simon but by the time this message reaches you 
and you have the time to respond, sometimes the moment's passed. I heard the captain and his sister arguing last night. I'm not sure how realized they realize how loud they are. Or maybe they don't care. I had to crank up the volume on my Moby to drown them out. But then I got worried I'd miss a call to get back to the turret, so I turned back down. Still not sleeping well, every bump wakes me. It takes forever to get back to sleep. At least I'm making some creds and gaining some XP. Once I get paid, I'll send a portion of Mammy. <laughs> maybe now that both of us are working, things will be easier for her. Did you ever find out how much experience deckhands need on your ship? How great would it be to work on the same ship? Sure, Mom would love it, too. Both are boys exploring the stars together. Just as she always dreamed. Gotta run. Talk again soon, brother. I think we've uncovered the mystery of the derelict starfair. But we're gonna go to the second floor here one more time. So S. Totman enters the fold. Never forget S. Totman. Or Stotman. Alright. Let's go down. One more level. Let's see if we can get some congruent answers to this obtuse puzzle. Pretty quiet down here, though. So this side got banged out. is that? The Voyager. Something went down here, boys. What is that? Some chocolates? Oh. What is that? Vape Nation? It's a... It's at the bar and lounge. Another person to Jameis. Jameis, I did what you asked. I did a full assessment of the ship and come to its ballpark value. There's a lot more work to be done than I thought. There's about a half dozen fixes to my punch list. You know what? We should probably talk about this in person. That way I can explain how I got my total. Fair warning, you're not going to be thrilled. I know you told me to hold off on repairs, but I noticed something that's a little worrying. The power plant's having spikes under normal operations. It could be a busted regulator, but it's best not to strain the system so you know what's going on. Might have to do those repairs I did to the shield Jenny the other day. Won't know until I run a full diag. Also, I tweaked a few things on the turn for the kid. He wouldn't stop complaining about how slow and unresponsive it was. <laughs> so I made a few minor adjustments just to keep him quiet. Kid's eager and works his tail off, but he's green as they come. One last thing, I'm going to think about your last message. Taking the AVR's buyout seems like the best plan. No, your dad wouldn't be happy. And tell your sister before you go through with it. She definitely won't like it, but you owe her that much. T. Moyo. Entering the fold. I think. That's probably. What the heck was that use? Did you see that? What was that use? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the. Rip, that's the old use button. Still exists in the world. This is pretty creepy out here, though. Escape pot. Oh, through the window. Through the walls. Get clipped, boys. I think that's it. Can we survive the ghost ship? We've done it. We survived the ghost ship. I think we have all the pieces we need to put to bed the story of the derelict Starfair. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed those gold panels of the advocacy. If you guys did, clicking the like button helps out a great deal. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Later.